Hi, I'm Elizabeth. This is The Bookish North and today I don't want to talk about books that I have read as much as I want to talk about books that I have bought or otherwise acquired, which makes this a book haul. Uh, because at the weekend, two weeks ago, I was in Stavanger at a book festival called Kapitel and I was having a great time, which is why I missed my upload that weekend. I uh, met up with a bunch of friends. We had a Norwegian book blogger meet up and it was great. I also went to, well, only one event at the festival itself, but that was also very interesting. I was watching a panel where uh, an author and journalist called Marta Breen was interviewing three people about their books all uh, having to do with reproduction. And that was also super interesting. And then, as is wont to happen when you put a bunch of book bloggers together, we went book shopping. I know, shocking. Um, my friend Marianne, who lives in Stavanger and is from Stavanger, introduced us to her favorite bookshop. And it was this amazing place called Lövås Bruktbu. It's one of those bookshops where it's just jam-packed from floor to ceiling with books and it's hard to even move around in the bookshops because there are so many books. It's hard to just turn without tearing stuff down and you certainly couldn't pass each other in the narrow paths between the books. And I just love places like that. And of course I bought books. I only bought four in that shop at least. So. That's something. And I thought I'd show you what I got during the weekend. So first off, uh, when I started going into secondhand bookshops, I wanted something to look for. And I started collecting books from a Norwegian publishing series called Lanterne. And that's a series that was published between, I think, 1962 and 1986. Uh, it includes 499 books and I've never really intended to get all of them but I'm just cherry picking the ones that I am interested in and that gives me something specific to look for in bookshops like this and uh, this time I found three that I wanted two of them were Doris Lessing novels because I have to stay on brand or you know, I like them. So I got uh, A Ripple from the Storm and uh, Landlocked, uh, both of which I already own English language copies of and both of which I have already read. I know they are very good, but I'm probably never going to read these editions because I prefer reading Lessing in English. But come on, look at them. They're beautiful. I couldn't leave them behind. I really like the cover designs of these series. So this is A Ripple from the Storm which has uh, a comment on segregation because you have this white woman on the bench on the front and you got a black woman on the co on the bench on the back of the book and never will they meet without me breaking the spine. Uh, yeah, I like that. And then the other one is just sort of surreal with this face in the waves and then lots of planes and I don't know what's going on here, but I like it. So I wanted those two for my collection just because I can never have too many editions of Doris Lessing books, apparently. Then I also bought uh, another one which is by a Norwegian author called Bergliot Hubeck Huff. This book is called I Bakunin. It is a novel exploring the life of the Russian anarchist Mikhail um, Bakunin, <laughs> obviously. Um, Mikhail Alexandrovich. Bakunin, I think, yes. Um, that sounded interesting and I have never read Hubekov before but Celia has repeatedly recommended her to me and that's enough for me to pick up this book. And then the last book I bought at Lovos Brukbu was I, Claudius by Robert Graves. This is just one of those books that I've seen referenced in so many other books that I think it is about time I read it myself. Uh, and I have been wanting to read more about Greece and Rome because I have hardly read anything, to be honest. I've, I, I am interested in history and I love reading about ancient history, but I've mostly been reading about the stuff that comes before Greece and Rome and sort of ignored all of that classical period. But yeah, this is going into my collection about books that will remedy that. I can see 
It's, uh, the sun is not doing me any favors today, is it? Maybe I'll just try to turn a little. Um, and then I went to a different bookshop, a chain bookshop, because I had one specific book I was looking for and wanted to find. It was released just a couple of days before I was in Stavanger, and it's this one called Udir by Kristina Tofte, which means beasts. This is YA fantasy or middle grade fantasy, I'm not sure where the divide between those goes. It said it's uh, the, the publisher is saying uh, for youths between 11 and 16. But I've already read this and I'll tell you it works pretty well for a woman of 38 as well. Uh, so I don't normally read a lot of middle grade stuff, but I will make an exception for Christina Tofta, just because she has written one of my favorite fantasy books of all time and that merits me buying whatever else she publishes. Uh, and this was great fun. Uh, this is the story about Amen, who is a young uh, teenage boy who is fed up with school and he's given the chance to get away from school once, one day a week to have an internship on a farm. And he doesn't really think that's a good idea because he doesn't think of himself as someone who belongs on a farm, but it beats going to school, so he goes anyways. And then it turns out that this farm is something special, or at least the animals on this farm are something special. They turn out to be the animals left behind by the Norse gods. So when they fled, because Christianity arrived in Norway, they left their animals behind and they have been living on this farm for a thousand years. So when Amun arrives to take care of these animals, he finds uh, flying pigs and huge cats and a horse with eight legs and, you know, all of the animals that the Norse gods surrounded themselves with. And it was just super entertaining and it's clearly written by someone who both knows and loves the old stories, and I really, really enjoyed this. Um, so, if you can't read Norwegian, I feel sorry for you because you are missing out. Maybe it will be translated in the future, who knows? But yeah, I'm happy to have bought and found and read that. Then there is another book that was just sitting on stands all over the festival because it's printed in a special edition that was handed out for free. Uh, it's this one, it's called Scumless, which means without shame. It is uh, an anthology collected by three young uh, Norwegian uh, immigrant women called Amina Bile, Sofia Nesrine Srur and Nancy Hertz. Uh, and uh, I've been curious about this. They have just been collecting lots of stories from uh, young immigrant women about their experiences in Norway. And uh, I think that's something that's worth hearing about. Uh, it's just a lot of different kind of formats and things in here. It has been getting quite a lot of press and I've been curious about it. So, you know, when it was sitting there for free, I just had to grab it and I will try to get to that soon as well. And then lastly, uh, as I said, we also had a book blogger meetup and on those meetups we usually have a book swapping table where everybody brings books that they don't want anymore and then we have a quiz and whoever wins the quiz uh, gets to pick first and then everybody gets a book and then after that it's free for all. You can get uh, well, however many books you fancy. Um, because most people are really trying to sell their books to other people so they don't have to bring them home with them because most people have acquired quite a lot of new books uh, on something like this. So I got two books from that table as well. I got Changing My Mind by Sadie Smith, which was my first pick from the table and I got to pick early because my team won the quiz. No thanks to me and all thanks to Celia who answered all of the questions. Uh, but yeah, Changing My Mind by Sadie Smith because I've been wanting to read some of her essays and this is a collection of essays so that's what I grabbed and I look forward to reading that. And then at the end, because nobody else had picked this up, I thought I would give it a go. This is a book I wasn't really planning to read but as it was lying there and being ignored 
I thought, well, maybe I'm going to read it anyway, and it's Lanny by uh, Max Porter. I did read Grief is a Thing with Feathers. I enjoyed it well enough. It didn't wow me, and I wasn't intending to read this because, unlike most people I've seen holding this book, I'm not really triggered by seeing text on the page like that, but, you know, it's a nice hardback. It was free and who knows, maybe I will love it. I will only know if I try. That was my haul from a weekend in Stavanger. It's not that bad, is it? It's fine. I only bought five of them and I've already read three. So yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. It, it, it's all good here. And uh, I will see you again next week. Bye bye.